This is your full body definition bar workout where we're gonna tone from head to toe using slow, controlled, graceful movements. I'm Action Jacqueline. Join me on your mat and let's get started. Okay, let's start down on our mats. We're gonna start with what I like to call pretty push-ups. <laughs> so your hands are gonna be underneath your shoulders and you're gonna bring your hips forward just like this. And then we're gonna extend one leg up. So I have my ankle weights on and we're gonna lower down into a push-up just like that and just do a nice little lift. So that's why I call them pretty push-ups, okay? So remember we're doing 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're gonna do it twice through so that we can get both sides. Here we go, lower and lift. So I want you to think about squeezing the elbows towards the ribs, so bringing them, hugging them in more. And my hands are actually slightly out, so turn the fingers slightly outward. Good, and lift. So I love these moves because they really do define the smaller muscle groups, these slow controlled movements. Think about extending long through the top of the head. Beautiful. Good, now we're gonna drop that right elbow down, left hand is into the floor, and we're gonna lower the leg, it's slightly turned out, and then pulled in and reach, that's it. Lower, lift, pull in and out, good. So slow controlled movements, so I'm moving slow on purpose so I can really feel my muscles and activate them, beautiful. Also when you move slowly, it's actually much more challenging for the body. Many times if you move quickly through something, that's the body telling you that there's actually a weakness. So if you notice that, see if you can slow it down, put attention into that area and activate it, get it stronger. Nice, now we're gonna curtsy that knee behind the other one, and then we're gonna kick side. Curtsy it back, and then kick side. Here we go. Think about extending long through the spine. Pull your ribs down, and I want you to actually press into the floor, and this is gonna help to lift the chest up higher so that you can get more space in the body and get stronger all around. Nice, now we're gonna come to the side. We're gonna come into like what would be a modified side plank and you're gonna lift, lower, and then lower the hips. Lift, up, down, lower. Starting to feel the burn? I definitely am feeling it in those glutes a lot. And we're activating the side obliques here and the shoulder, good. Okay, now we're gonna stay laying side. We're just gonna lift and lower, lift and lower. So I like to be a little bit higher up, but if it feels more comfortable for you to be all the way down, then go ahead and lower all the way down. But remember to point the toes, lead with the heel. So you wanna think of the heel lifting up here so we can target the outer glutes. Keep the abs in tight, lower abs, ribs down. Nice job.
All right, so now we're going to go into a forearm plank and then we're gonna do toe taps. So if you're not comfortable with the forearm plank, just put the knees down and just lift one leg at a time. Okay, otherwise join me here and little toe taps like this. Tapping to the outside of your mat for a little extra challenge. Whew, this one fires up the abs a lot. Make sure your shoulders are over your elbows. Palms are pressing down, so press through your first finger and thumb. Really press down into the palms to help keep the shoulders open, activate the forearms. Good job, especially with the ankle weights. It's definitely very challenging to do these toe taps. So keep that belly uplifted. You're doing awesome. Lengthen out through the spine. Just remember every rep, you are getting stronger. Nice work there. So we're gonna come into what I call elegant abs. So you're gonna come into like a boat position, extend, extend. Here we go. So it just feels very regal right here, right? Feel like you have your queen crown on your head and you're lifting up tall, extending one toe at a time, feeling those abs working like crazy. And I like this one too, because it gets deep into the low abs. You really have to work on your posture here and those inner thighs even get a nice little burn. You agree this is not the way it is supposed to feel. Oh, and I can see, I can see there are different paths laid out for you and me. All right, so now we're gonna move into downward facing dog and feel that nice stretch. We're gonna stay with the left side. You're gonna lift the left leg up, tap the toe, cross it behind the right ankle, and lift it back up. So the key here is to keep the upper body really stable. So shoulders are externally rotated, ribs are down. Good, so you really wanna hold onto that whole upper body. Try not to be wiggling around or sinking into the shoulders at all. dog just take the legs out a little bit wider and we're gonna go into a downward dog tricep push-up where the elbows lower down you lift up then you're gonna just tap one ankle lower the elbows down lift alternating sides with tapping the ankles just like that so you get a nice stretch in the back the hamstrings the low back and then you're still really working those arms here. So really squeeze the elbows together as you lower them down. It's one of my most favorite moves for triceps because it really, really strengthens them like no other exercise. We're not okay. I look into your eyes and see you fade away. All right, so now we are going to do our ballet burpees, which is so fun. So you're gonna take a nice little push up, step up, up, lift all the way up to your toes, back down. Let's go. Myself to love. Yeah, I just wanna lose my breath. which foot comes up towards the front of the mat so you can make sure that you're working both sides. Take a little breather, now we're gonna do 
do all of that on the other side. So we're gonna start with our pretty push-ups with the right leg. How are you doing? Pretty good? Feels good, right? It's a gentle way of sculpting the body and not being really nice and easy on the joints, but still getting that effective toning. So let's go. Remember, bring the hips forward into push-up and lift. Nice, slow, controlled movements. Turn your hands slightly outward. into the elbow, reach, tap, and lift. So I want you to focus on your core muscles here to try not to let them splay out too much. It's really easy to do that. So keep your ribs down. I like to just give a little cough, like <sighs> And that'll show you exactly where you can tighten your waist. Now we're gonna curtsy it back and we're gonna kick it all the way side right here. And this is especially where you need to make sure that you're not leaning too far forward on the supporting leg, but stay nice and square over your shoulders and knees. Good. Reach nice and slow. Feel the body really working. Try to imagine in your mind right now all the little muscles around your hips and glutes working, all the muscles in your core activating, firing up. That mind-body connection is so important. So just focus inward on your body, feeling grateful for having this time to move together, to be on the beach together, right? Sweating, burning. I can't think of anything else I'd rather be doing. Okay, so we're gonna come onto our side. <sighs> it's good, right? It feels so good. I love it. I love feeling the burn. So we're gonna lift up, tap, and lower. Really get these obliques working. So push into the elbow, really push out of the shoulder. Lift, lower, good. Oh, and I can see, I can see. There are different paths laid out for you and me. Cause baby, I'm a true believer. And no one else stay true to my faith. And I'm tired of feeling blue when I lose myself to love. Yeah, I just wanna lose. We get to lay down now. It's always fun to lay down in your workout. Okay, so we're gonna lift and lower. Lead with the heel and then you can point on the way down. Lift and lower, good. Hold on to that core. Even while you're lying down, I want you to envision or visualize that whole line from the top of your head to your toe. See how long you can get through your whole body. Inhaling in, exhaling down. Inhaling in, exhaling down. Now we're gonna come on 
to our forearm planks for our toe taps. This is a nice kind of more of my chill workouts where the intensity is still up, but it's good for, you know, to pair up maybe with a run or if you're on vacation somewhere, you only have 20 minutes, but you still want to connect with your body. I feel so grounded and peaceful after I work out. So, especially when I'm traveling, I like to just get into my body. Because it can, it can be such an out-of-body experience to be traveling or doing something like that, right? Let's go into our elegant abs, as I like to say. So, lift on up through the chest and let's go. Point the toes, extend, extend. So you really wanna think about lifting the heart up as much as you can. That's probably the hardest part, right? To not be rounded here like this. But lift the heart up, feel radiate, ra radiant in your body right now. It is hard to resist cause I need ya And it's hard to be here cause I believe ya Call me tight mm. Hold it on tonight Hold in a cup of No get to your clean and proper Yeah, I'm moving a weekend lover You gonna me on your mind forever Ever Thanks baby Turn it down like a sweet and ready <sighs> Okay, time for our downward dog this one's so good because then it stretches out everything we just did. Really make sure that the hands are pressed into the floor, have that strong foundation. Here we go, lift and lower the leg. Lift and lower. Make sure that you're not opening up either. Just stay nice and square. Bring those ribs down, so knit them down together towards the hip. alternating sides and lift this has been an amazing full body definition we really did hit everything arms abs legs booty thighs you're doing awesome see if you can speed it up a little bit get that heart rate up a bit here we go. Keep going to the very last moment. You've got it. Keep going, keep going. Oh, all done. I'm 
Amazing, amazing job. Amazing job, that wasn't easy, so you should be proud of yourself. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, because that really helps me out to create more videos like this. And if you're the type of person that thrives on accountability and progress tracking, then download my Stretchy Fit app. You can start absolutely free, be a part of a loving community, and get my best bar and yoga programs. All right, I'll see you in the next workout. Bye.